What has happened is a colossal military disaster. We shall go on to the end. We shall never surrender. My name's John Romain, and I'm the director of the aircraft restoration company based here at Duxford. And we were uh, commissioned for the film to supply certain aeroplanes and to do the flying of those. And so we supplied the Blenheim uh, and primarily the Messerschmitt 109. My involvement in the film was flying those aeroplanes. I mean, the Dunkirk story is immense. This film really will present that extremely well. It was great to actually use real aeroplanes in this, uh, rather than any CGI or anything else. So, you know, the, the Blenheim is the only flying example left in the whole world. Uh, to have that in the film, the Spitfires, the 109, it really gave a great feel to the, to the making of the film, and I'm sure that's going to come through on the screen as well. The Spitfire played a role of a, a protective fighter. Obviously, all the soldiers were on the beaches and in the nearby towns. The Germans were using Stukas to not only hit the ships, trying to recover the troops, but also the troops on the beach. You see things like rear-view mirrors coming in, and they were landing, talking to their ground crews, adjusting the aeroplanes to give them that little bit of an edge. And Dunkirk did that. It was the training ground, really, for what became the Battle of Britain. To fly in one is an incredible experience. It's an aeroplane that really feeds back to you. It gives you all the senses. Of course, there's the noise, and it's, it's a noisy aeroplane, like all those types of fighters were. Um, it smells, it's, you've got the hot oil, the hydraulic. You hear a lot of the systems work. It's got a lot of pneumatic systems, so you hear a lot of hissing air. Those big V12s produce a lot of heat, and that heat comes back through the cockpit. So you get a, a lot of sensations going with the speed, the sound, the smell. All of those things tend to register in the mind. As a flying machine, it's incredibly agile, and it's light on the controls. So from a piloting point of view, pilots love them.